Go on, please. For an individual sport, tennis has a surprisingly rich history of team competition. From Davis Cup to the Olympics, Labour Cup to World Team Tennis, there's something about the drama and emotion of these events which brings out the best in players. The joy and pain is shared and amplified, not just for the players but for the fans too. Which is why the rejuvenation of the women's team competition is such good news for the sport. The competition, first called the Federation Cup and then Fed Cup, is being restructured, renamed and rebranded as the Billie Jean King Cup. Is women's team tennis finally about to realise its potential? There's been a women's team competition in tennis since 1923 when the USA began playing Great Britain in the Whiteman Cup. In 1963, the International Tennis Federation ITF, started the Federation Cup and other nations joined the fray. Despite sponsorship from brands such as Colgate, there was no prize money and teams had to pay their own expenses, but it still attracted some of the biggest names of the era, including King herself. In the years that followed, the competition grew, and in 1995, the newly named Fed Cup was changed again to include 73 nations playing home and away ties. Throughout its incarnations and numerous changes to the format, and in spite of regular appearances by stars like Serena Williams, Simona Halep and Petra Kvitova, the Fed Cup never quite hit the heights it deserved. It had the superstars, the drama and the passion, but it remained a hidden treasure loved by hardcore tennis fans in certain nations, but unnoticed by the wider world. So why will this new version be any different? One of the biggest reasons is the involvement of Billie Jean King herself. She won the competition 10 times for the USA as a player and captain, but more importantly she's a global icon and the woman whose vision and drive kick-started professional women's tennis. King embodies the power and potential of female sport, and that's exactly what a women's team tennis competition needs to tap into. She's much more than a living symbol though. She's a smart and savvy businesswoman with experience not just of creating the WTA Tour, but also the successful World Team Tennis Exhibition franchise. King has already said that she'd like to see her competition grow from having 116 nations to 142, the same number as the Davis Cup, and she won't be afraid to bring new ideas and ambition to the ITF. Women's sport has never been more celebrated than it is now, but this may only be the beginning. It's the biggest growth area in the sports industry worldwide, with major commercial brands falling over themselves to be associated with success stories like the US women's soccer team and superstars like Megan Rapinoe and Alex Morgan. In other big markets for tennis, such as the UK and Australia, professional women's sports like netball are enjoying burgeoning popularity. Women's rugby and cricket are gaining ground too, and sports women are celebrated and talked about more than ever before. Women's tennis has always led the way in female sport, and this could be the perfect time to give it another big platform via a well-promoted, commercially supported women's team competition. The commercial element is key. The Fed Cup has long been sponsored by BNP Paribas, which also sponsors the Davis Cup and Roland Garros, amongst other tournaments. But these changes, and the growing enthusiasm for women's sport, should boost the Billie Jean King Cup's commercial value even more. King's celebrity status and better promotion of the event also means added media and broadcast exposure, which in turn will bring in more sponsors and allow the competition to grow in stature. Prize money for the Billie Jean King Cup is increasing to 12 million US dollars for players, plus another 6 million dollars for competing national federations, bringing it on a par with the Davis Cup. The fact that the players will now be paid the same as their male counterparts isn't just an important symbol of equality, it's also an added incentive for star players to be part of the competition. The new format is also more in line with the Davis Cup, with all 12 top nations scheduled to compete in a star-studded finals week in April 2021 in Budapest, preceded by qualifying and playoff rounds. That parity will also allow the ITF to market the two competitions side by side as equals. When the change was announced, King immediately talked about how inspirational the revamped competition could be for women and girls. There's plenty of research to show that women and girls are specifically attracted to taking part in sports together with other women, in teams and in friendship groups. What better image for them to see than players, shoulder to shoulder, cheering on their teammates and playing for them. Because as Billie Jean King always says, if you can see it, 
you can be it.